All right, we back with Nate Bone Craft. Before we get into it, I'm going to make sure I tell y'all, he told me to tell y'all, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good shit. So. Yes, please like and share me. You like and share me, it ain't going to cost you a, not one plug nickel. But I've been reading my comments that people have been sending to me. I do appreciate the comments from the UK. I was like, if you run for president, you got our vote. That had me feeling warm in the chest all day after I read that yesterday and today. I appreciate y'all over there in the UK. Y'all seem to be doing, showing more love for me than my own people here. But maybe they'll come along. I just want to run for president because Trump running. He's a crook. I'm a crook. Can I run against him? I don't want to run as no Democrat or no Republican. I'm just running as a free agent. People of the world be like me. Vote for me. We, we can find some way to stick it on the ballots or the books or whatever. I may not become president this year, but hopefully we get it in 2028. I believe that's the next run. And I guarantee you one thing. I get in, won't be no more homeless people. Won't be all this food is high. The food stay high, y'all get a stimulus check. The rent stay high, you get a stimulus check. We gonna just stop letting the rich keep on becoming more richer off of our back. While we going down, they going up. They raise up the price of the food, rent, car, DTE even going up. Everything is going up. Gas. Whew. Time for us to catch up with the cost of living. Y'all need checks for the cost of this living. Because the price is just regard. I mean, just I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I ain't talking about just people of color. I'm talking about every different color there is. We all need them checks because we catching hell trying to eat, to live, to survive. You talk well, pull your bootstrap up and uh, do harder. Do harder what to make you more money? I'm not making nothing more. I can, I, I barely make enough money to pay rent and get food. Then you want to well, you got to pull your bootstraps up and work harder. No, I'm not pulling my bootstraps up. They already up. Far they go. If I pull them up anymore, they be up in my butt. So yeah, y'all need more pay. I mean, if you gonna want me to work, or you want people to work, the cost of living going up. Well, raise that paycheck up. Let's make it forty some dollars an hour. Let's make it fifty or whatever. You making billions off of us. Give us some of that back and quit trying to pay us lower and lower. While you going up, you trying to get, well, I give you $10 and that ain't no money. You can barely get a sandwich. Get a loaf of bread and some cold cuts. While you taking your money that you make off our back and going and get a lobster, caviar, going on big expensive trips. What about the people that's working for you? We're not trying to become millionaires, but we would like to be able to survive on what you give us. But what you give us now is not enough to survive. A lot of them people are getting put out their home because they can't afford the rent. They can't afford the food. The food so high. You go to the store. I went to the store the other day. I spent $400. It didn't even fill two bags of groceries. These bags, I would show the name on the bag, but I don't want the store trying to kick me out because I'm talking about them. Oh, Lord, the price. Y'all just too high. I mean, I went in there, I was like, coffee? $8 for the little cup of coffee? What they call them? Uh, it's a K-Cups. Yeah. And uh, I was like, 
what the hell going on with this K cup? Eight dollars just for that little bitty, and that's the small box. The bigger box was twenty and thirty dollars. When I first started drinking this stuff, it was four dollars. But to carry on and progress into something else, uh, I appreciate a lot of the comments that y'all be sending me. Some of them is have me laughing and feel the touch to my heart. Quite a few of y'all is trying to put me down in the comment, but I'm sorry. You can't put me down, but you can say what you want to say. That's freedom of speech. I'm going to answer you whether you hated me or you love me or you just want to hear me talk. A lot of people like to hear me laugh. Why? What's wrong with my laugh? I like my laugh. <laughs> One person's talking about I be talking in that third person or second person or whatever they be saying in the comments. Yeah, we love it when you be talking in that second person. I, mean, I don't think I was talking in second person. I mix my mind that, hey, this is just how I talk. If you know me, you know how to talk. This is just me. But I still like the comments. Please send me more comments. But uh, one hater, oh man. Next time I'm going to write down his name and his uh, thing so I can mention it on air. I'm going to start writing down all y'all comments so I can mention them on air when I go on. And when. And when I do my next video, I'm going to bring y'all comments up and read them on, on this video. So y'all can see that I got your comments. I, I I mean, I try to answer all my comments. I ain't got nothing else to do. Boy, since I can't hunt people no more, you I mean, uh, look for people no more, I'm bored. So I sit back and just read your comments, answer you back. But my main thing is playing thug like look, there, there is a program that I play. It's called Thug Life. I love playing that. I think I play it 24-7. When I ain't playing it, I'm sleeping. Sometimes I wake up and start playing. Like, <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> but, uh. Y'all be asking me about Reggie, Butch, and people I knew from back then that knew me. I have nothing bad to say about them. I can only tell you that me and Reg got along good. I liked him out of all his brothers. Boo was just a jerk. And if anybody feel offended by that, well, that's your problem. But I'm going to speak my mind. That's why I said... I come president, I'm going to speak my mind. Because evidently, my nose ain't broke, my eyes ain't swollen, my lip ain't fat, I'm still breathing. So I ain't wrong. Just because you say that I'm wrong, well, join my hater side. Because I love my haters. Same way I love the people that love me. I appreciate y'all very much for following my stories. If you don't want me to uh, do a story, please put it in the comment. I'm still going to do it, but put it in the comment. I like to see who is my haters. So I can say, hey, this is one of my good haters. He's hating on me real good. Especially as uh, one guy that got his podcast, he, he, be, he be hating on me so much. I'll be like, I don't even know the man. But I think the man mad because I won't do his interview, they, a whole lot of people ask me to come do an interview. Some people I won't do an interview with because they ain't worth my time. They trying to find a way to put me down or to start an argument with me and someone else so we could go at it so they could get more views. Well, you ain't gonna get no view off of me trying to get me on your podcast because I know what you're up to and I don't fall in that group. I'm nobody's sucker, and I can't be used. And if you did use me, you wouldn't like the outcome, because that would be one. Now, you may hear two, but you'll never hear that three. Count on that. 
Don't think because I done got up in age that my finger don't work. <laughs> I ain't got to uh, be young and be up on you. No, I can hit you from many, many, many miles away. Many yards. But understand, I'm not into that lifestyle. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm just saying, don't ever put a person age into existing thinking that they too old for that. You ain't never too old to pull a trigger. And please, don't follow me on anything that I say about doing something because I don't mean nobody no harm. Trust me. I'm not Nixon. I wouldn't steal from anyone. No. I would. Hey, I'd rather keep it real with you and let you know I'm going to rob you. The Lord knows if they ever put me in the president of the White House, <laughs> They better really bolt down anything of value. Because <laughs> when I leave, taking it with me. <laughs> so you can have a wow. It may be script. I might script it. <laughs> I mean, hey, I ain't got nothing else to do when I get ready to get out of the office. I'll take what I can. If I'm wrong, well, just tell me, hey, you can't take that. Okay, well, here. You have it back. But I didn't know. I didn't see no signs saying don't remove, don't take it. I figured if I could pick it up and walk away with it, it's mine. The same way that job came here and you discover America. Uh, how, you, how do you discover something with somebody else already here? And then you turn around and you try to tell them where they live and you're going to sell them some land over here. Uh, they don't remember buying no land or you owning this land. But now you give them one little set, okay, here, y'all can do what you want on this land. That's y'all land. But then you try to find a way to tax it. You got to stick your hand in their pocket some type of way. You ain't going to just let them live and be free like they were before y'all came here and made this USA. This land was already discovered by the people that was here. Ah, Sometimes I'll be looking at that and I'll be like, they right. How can you come over here, take the land, and then tell them that they got to move off of this because it belonged to the government. It belonged to the people. Uh, they are the people. They was here before you, but you're going to tell them that they got to move. Man, oh man. Then you want to try to kill off the entire existing you couldn't even do that right. Yeah. You tried to kill off, excuse me, blacks, because you don't want them to know that how y'all treat us, our great great grandparents, beat them with whips, hang them from trees, shoot them because they were looking at a white woman too long. I, I believe that's what they're doing now. That's why they it just caught those three police officers that stated that, uh, they can't wait for a civil war because then they can just run out there and kill any, they use the N-word in that program. I, I, I won't use that N-word, I'm sorry. But uh, only thing happened to them, they said, well, ain't nothing gonna happen to them, what's they gonna do? Give a pay leave, a couple weeks later, we back on the job out there shooting them again, people of color. They got busted. They on tape saying all this. They got a tape of those three officers talking about it. they can't wait for the Civil War and, and that they going to go buy some more guns, AK, <laughs> M16, and so forth. Okay, well, when they made one, that was the only gun they made. The people of color is going to get tired of this and they're going to be like, well, it's time for us to do whatever need to be done to protect ourselves from these cops like that, from these racist people that want to wipe us out. We ain't going to just stand by and say, okay, hey, hey, shoot me, shoot me, I'm next. Oh, no, we're going to fight back. I know I'm going to fight back. <laughs> I'm going to fight back to the max. 
you come and try to harm me any way, fast and form, you better be bringing it all the way. And you better make sure it's a headshot that's going to have to take me out because you being the body that just pissed me off. But there's a lot of things that I would like to bring up about the people that is following me. So like, share, and subscribe. It ain't going to cost you a dime. But I make a little penny here and penny there, I guess. But the more likes I get, the more people that share this, the more people watch, I guess they call that uh, let's see, monetizing or whatever on this. Uh, oh, you tell me the uh, algorithm to monetize the video. Yeah. Well, heck, I made almost $200 last month. They paid me on the 20th, I think, or somewhere like that. It was almost 200 bucks. It ain't going to do nothing for me, but hey, I can get a little bit more food now. I would like to start selling shirts and hats, but I don't even know what to put, what type of a logo, what to put on. So if you're watching this, put it in the comments on what I should say on it. What should I put? Down with the craft? The Grim Reaper? He is love? I hope I'm love. I'm alone, so... I am a loner. I basically stick to myself. I have done that age since I was nine years old. So I really don't have no friends. Friends I had, both of them passed away. Those are the only ones I would call friends. The rest of the people, I know them, I call them associate. You ain't my friend. You ain't somebody I would die for. But them two, Jeremy and Day, I would die for them. Jeremy was my heart. He kept me almost on the right track and was always telling me I should bring it down some. I was the crazy one out the group. Man, I miss that brother. A lot of people didn't know who he really was or who I was. And they still don't. They claim, oh, no, he wasn't never like that. Where that picture? Okay. Y'all see the picture with me and him wearing the same uh, suit. We had went to Chicago. We had to do something. And we did what we had to do. We put in some work. I got immunity from it. He didn't because he never got caught. I took the whole rap on that. Why should I? He had to go. He already got me on it. Okay. You got me. Well, who was your partner? I don't know what you're talking about. I did it by myself. They had two different guns. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I mean, what are they going to do, dig him? Well, he was cremated. What are they going to do, try to put him back together? <laughs> they, can't, they can't do nothing to that man. Uh, uh, but, yeah, if you want me to answer something or you got something you would like to know about that I may know, please put it in the comments. I love reading them. I love answering them. Quite a few of y'all already know that I answer y'all comments, whether it's good or bad, I will answer it. Some of them may not like my answer back, but hey, I'm keeping it real. Sometimes I may forget something, a little part or it's this and that, because it really wasn't no important part of my life. I mean, I did a lot of crazy stuff when I was younger in my teens and even into my 20s. Y'all may see some pictures with uh, people that y'all may knew. Well, they didn't even know me. The people in the pictures with me, they didn't really know what was really going on with me. We were just taking pictures. I really don't like taking pictures. Most pictures that I took, it was always a picture of me sitting in prison somewhere or me in the army, or I didn't go to clubs, but I did go to to the Tiger Club, the Godfather Club, and to Pat Lounge here in Michigan. Rados. I think I went to three lounges in my entire life. But each time it was for work. I would go there and sit back and 
watch people. Once I get what they do too many times, then they belong to me. But uh, I just don't go nowhere. I don't go to parties. I don't go to picnicking. I don't go to any type of gathering to just have a vibe. No, no, no. My vibe is sitting at my house playing thug life. That's why I'm constantly on that game, thug life. I enjoy it. It makes me feel kind of good knowing, knowing people trying to shoot my house is down or steal my money. I'm like, okay. But what they don't know is that you become number one on my list now because you up there. So I'm going to tear you down and steal all your money, tear down your property. You will see it when it pop up and say, Nate did this, Nate did that. <laughs> Same way I see you when you do mine. The cold did this, the cold did that. June did this, Maria. Uh, she texts me every now and then, then that builds her money up. Then I get to go at it and steal it. I'm into the, the, the trillion dollar mark right now, me. I think she's into the billion because she's number two. I'm number one, then it's June number two, then it's Nate. He's number, no, this Nate is not my son. This is just a friend that also played the game. Lasky, Nate Lasky. I think I'm pronouncing that name right, but he's number three. Number four and so forth. I don't I, I can't remember who they is, and really I don't care because they not up to number one, two, and three. Spot. You at those spot, I'm coming for you. You got money and I want it. That helped us build our property to get off that floor and go to the next floor. I don't even know what to, what's at the top, but sooner or later, I'll find out what's there. People talking about that they quit because it's just too many flows. That's the name of the game, baby. Play, go to the next flow. Play, go to the next flow. And keep going and keep going. Right now, I think I'm in the... I don't even know what flow I'm on, really, but I know I'm high up there. I'm number one on that, on my page. But, uh, Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, different names. YouTube is, uh, wait a minute. My YouTube name is Nate Boom Thug Life. My Instagram is Craft Nathaniel. Just plain Craft Nathaniel. My TikTok is Nate Boom Craft Thug Life. But I guess my favorite one is my YouTube, Nate Boom Thug Life. I love that game. And I, I like to read my comments that come through there because a lot of people send me comments through uh, YouTube. They be asking me questions that some shocked me when they asked me questions. They be asking me questions that I really didn't want to answer. But I answer. Some of them don't like me. They, they call me a lot. Talking about, oh, he lying. If I'm lying, where was you at at this time then? If you say I'm lying, do you got paperwork to prove that I'm lying? Or do you just say that because you're hoping that I get mad and oh, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm sorry, I won't do that. But I try to answer you the best way I can and say, well, it's your right, freedom of speech. Say what you want to say. But I'm not going to go back and forth and argue with you. I'm going to speak my mind the first time and let you know. Well, if you say I'm wrong, that's on you. I'm going to have to stop this video because they're running something. And we're back. There are those that always want to tell me that they don't believe my stories or this and that. Well, okay. That's on you. You, you can believe in what you want to believe. That's your prerogative. Me, I'm just telling my life. I'm telling the story. Telling it like it is. If you don't care... Hey, keep watching. You may not, you may, you may, you may like the next one. Just keep pushing that like and that share. And don't forget now, if you describe a subscribe, you will get me every time I put one up. And I'm starting to put them up like Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
Right now, it's just like Monday and Friday. Oh, Monday and Friday? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be trying to put them up every day, but I need to try to get a little money in so I can keep riding all the way out here to the studio. I mean, I live far away. I ain't going to tell you where I live, but I, I, I'm still in Michigan. But I live about an hour and a half drive from here. So, like I said, sooner or later, I'm going to try to sell some shirts or hats or something. I got to find something to put my name on. <laughs> Anybody else making money off me? Hmm. I, I even heard back from the guy that, well, I ain't going to bring his name up, but he wanted to do a book on me. But it was a sucker move because he wanted to do it, but I don't get no money. He wanted to take pictures of all the stuff I got. He want me to unseal my files so they can go down there and get them. I'm not unsealing my file because they'll take whatever they can get and go do a movie or a book deal without me and say, well, this is fiction. It ain't fiction if you took it from my book. Well, we saying that this is fiction. You saying yours is real. Ours is fiction. We just made this up. Yeah, you made it up after you got copies of my paperwork. Change I my the move to... that you changed the names. That's all you did. Well, uh, see, you put uh, such and such name. We got this person's name. It ain't about your story. But I ain't gonna, I'm not going to unseal anything until someone come with a movie deal and willing to offer me some money. I want half up front, the other half when it's done. That's the way. I got all copies of all my paperwork from all over. That's why they keep talking about, uh, show us your creds. <laughs> I ain't got to show anybody anything unless you're ready to put some money in my pocket. Other than that, you'll never be able to make a copy of it, take a picture of it, or find out what the case numbers are, or try to talk me into unsealing my paperwork. No. You could barely get anything from the prison system because they had everything frozen too. I think the state made a mistake and opened it up once. And I told them you ain't supposed to have my file, my name, available to anyone so they can find out what I did in prison. What would you do? I could talk about it on on my video, people want to know, ask me. I have pictures of me and my friends that was that was at parole camp. When we all met back up, we, we all met up at the parole camp. And we took pictures of us getting ready to come home. I got some pictures of me going in. And like I said, a lot of people talking about, oh, he had a suit in prison. If you know how to talk and you know how to get things, you get anything you want. Hell, I had a gun in there. Nobody knew it. Because why? Run around telling neighbor, oh, yeah, I got a pistol. That's the quickest way to get busted all your life. Take it because people know you got it now. So they got to catch you before you go get it. But it was just, uh, any pictures you will probably see whenever, whenever my editor put them up. You will see basically all these pictures of me in prison. Even even the one picture of me, I'm kind of big at that time. I mean, I was 487 pounds. Now I'm 283 pounds. I lost 200. Put it this way. I lost half of me. <laughs> I was kind of shocked on how big I got. I'm laying up in that hospital all bandaged from head to toe. When they cut that body cast on, like, whoa. What y'all do to my body? The girl said, ooh, they messed you up. You look like you're about five or 600 pounds. When they put me on the scale, they said 487 pounds. I'm like, whoa. I was only 220. Well, all this, they said, you were sitting there eating, eating, and eating. Anything that your people brought in, you was eating. We told you, you shouldn't be eating all that food. That food was kind of going to blow you up. But you wanted to eat, so you ate. 
And when it came off, I was sitting there in that, my prison clothes, because that's when they put me into the federal prison. And there, they, uh, they made me wear their uniform, the brown tan uni uniform. And I was like, whoa. But then when they put me in the witness protection program, I was able to buy anything I want, as long as I had the money. And I was buying all types of clothes, machines, airbags, air mattress, espresso machine, coffee machine, popcorn machine. I mean, I had everything that I could buy. Even had a little small refrigerator in my cell. But, uh, I ain't quite sure what year it was, but they made us send everything home. Of course, we're in the witness protection program. We can't send everything home because we ain't got no home no more. So we packed up everything and sent it to Janet Reno. <laughs> she got all those boxes from us in prison. She was like, what, what's going on? That's what she told Ashton Ward back at the prison. The boy came and asked her, why y'all sending all this stuff to Janet Reno? Because we ain't got nobody... Uh, to send it to. We going into the witness protection room, supposed to give us a new name and this and that. We can't tell people where we at. So we sent it to the her, and she just hold it for us until we get out. But she sent everything back, telling you to tell us we got to send it somewhere else. We ain't got no place else to send it. Me, I finally said, wait a minute, I got somebody I can send it to. They said, yeah, but you can't uh, tell them where you at. No, I supposed to send it to them then. Got to put a return address. So they gave us an address to put up there for return. This is where mail go to. And somebody go there and go through all that crap if they mail back to us. But I sent all my stuff to my sister. And when she got it, she was like, she wrote a letter back to me and told me, what's all this cigarettes, cooking, can, can good? I said, that's everything I couldn't have. What about all these clothes? I can't have them no more. My pictures, my coffee machine. I mean, I said to everything. I had to start from scratch. My sister said, well, she gave all the cooking and gave it to, you know, like her grandkids and, and uh, people in the neighborhood. Or whatever. I had so much, I mean, 15 boxes full of cigarettes and candy and cooking. And then, Five more boxes full of coffee machine, espresso machine, popcorn machine, my air mattress, my air bag. I mean, they script, they basically locked down the unit and told everybody to put boxes in front of our cell. Tell me everything got to go. So we had to pack up everything and uh, ship it out. Oh, is that where that closet full of clothes came from, too? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Louise packed up. I mean, she had all that stuff, but then I told her, I said, you may store all that stuff away because I'm not going to be able to fit that no more. I'm gaining a lot of weight. But when I came home, it's been like two, three years, I dropped 200 pounds. Let me tell you how I did it. I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> I want nobody else trying to copy off what I did because it was weird the way I did it, but I lost all that weight, as you can see. Um, back being fit, good. You see it in some of the pictures as well. But, of course, you're going to see the other picture of me at 487 pounds. And don't tease me because I'm kind of... What the work are you... What, uh... Not sensitive. No, I ain't sensitive. I don't care. <laughs> but I get very upset with people, you know, that say, man, you fat. Oh, you kind of weight like, conscious? What? Say it again. You're like, what? Well, well, we just said you fat. That's one. Oh, man, go on with that count stuff. I said, I'm just letting you know. You get to keep on messing up until I. I get the three, but you would never hear the three. So leave me alone. I know I was big at that time, but like I told people, a lot of y'all may take this wrong, but wrapped around my waist, I know what that was, don't you? That was my... <laughs> it just made me look big. 
Yo, why are you so big? I had to wrap my around my waist. Kept hanging down too long. Third leg. <laughs> that just was a joke. <laughs> uh, uh.